Okay, this is an interview on the manifestation video that I promised you guys, but they couldn't get anything on camera, so this is an interview. Go. Okay, so the video you were supposed to get was the manifestation of see if I can catch anything, and I think that it knew that I was videoing it, and it... It would but tell them how, how, the, how it came to manifestation. Who saw it first? Well, my husband saw it first, and uh, he thought that I was laying on my bed in the living room, and he thought that I went to the bathroom and closed the door behind me because he said he saw a dark figure that looked like me with my hair in my face, and. Uh, going in the bathroom and closing the door behind me and he came back and he said how'd you get there so fast and I said what are you talking about and he said how did you get back to the uh, bed so fast and I said I never even left it and he said well I just saw you go into the bathroom and close the door behind you and I said I never even got up I'm, I'm being serious I'm not playing with you and he said, well, I saw a dark figure with look like you with hair on their face going into the bathroom. And I didn't sleep, like, needless to say, I didn't sleep that night. And, uh, and then I told my best friend, which is behind the camera, <laughs> and, uh, she gave me the camera that she's holding now to try to catch it, and I set it up about three different times, and never saw anything that's why I said I think it knew that I was uh, videoing it how many hours did you set it for about eight hours and yeah. so like like after I went to sleep before I went to sleep I set it up then I you know went to bed and uh and set it up for eight hours so I ran through it a couple of times to see if I can catch anything I even got my husband to look at it and nothing so uh tell them about uh has has the ghost done anything to make itself no well you could hear we have carpet in our hallway and you could hear uh the floor creaking and you could hear the carpet the way you could hear it move when somebody shovels their feet and so you're saying the it in minutes, so the entity shuffled his feet. Yes, and you could. Do uh, they get to hear? You could see it. Try like one night. I think it was this week that uh, when I didn't have the camera on right before I went to bed to set up the camera, that I had my eyes halfway closed and I was about to go to bed. I mean, I wasn't about to go to bed, but I was like about to fall asleep, take a nap. And I had my eyes like this, and then I just, I thought I heard my son. So I kind of opened my eyes, and I looked towards the hallway, and I could see something, like, peek out real quick, like a dark shadow peek out. And it saw me look at it, and it, you know, ducked back in. And I could see its, uh, I could see its heel go run back through, back through the hallway. And that was the last of it that I heard. Yes. Can't stop that because he's gonna ruin those cables. But uh, yeah. This is her mm. son. Hi. That's the love of her life. He is a miracle. Okay, so, but you said that mm. your neighbor, that was across from you. Yeah, the house used, across they saying that the, the that the neighbor said that she's that she saw a shadow look back at her. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but before she moved, she told me that the same things would happen to her. That a shadow would, you know, even during daylight hours, would, you know, peek from the, because the apartments are set up the same. And she said it would peek up at her. And uh, every time she looked over, 
it would duck back behind and go down the hall. So after she moved, I think it knew that I was friends with her or whatever. I'd just go over there and talk to her. And it would move over to my house after she moved She's thick as a, she's like a shy ghost, maybe. I don't know if it's good or bad. It hasn't harmed me or my husband or my son, but... You know, are you saying that son, it could be, do you think it's a shy one or if it's, or is it like, or it will let you know it's there, but I think it wants to be known that it's there, but it's too shy to show itself. Uh, I didn't you say that a one. couple things have been moved? Like I was about to say that the thermostat, when I I set it, you know, really nice and cool at night, I'd wake up in the morning and it was, you know, pretty warm. Like it had made, changed, changed the thermostat and, you know, just different things. And I'd have my TV on and the TV would be off in the morning. Trust me, I'd know if my husband went in there and turned it on or off or not. So he's pretty loud when he, you know, <laughs> walks around. But, yeah, that's been my experience lately. Okay. So, you've heard my friend's story. <laughs> and yes, I know, I promised y'all a video, but oh I think the view interview was good. Um... Tell me what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe to this channel. And of course, she is part of my channel too because she is my best friend. We both put this, we both put our hours into this. So thank her to give that story and what she had experienced. And thank him for <laughs> being so entertaining. <laughs> to entertain the audience. Uh, I bid y'all a good night. And don't catch me trying to grab something. And say, Ellie, what do you want to say? Comment, like, and subscribe down below. <laughs> and what? Do these YouTubers want to call you? I'm Rachel Ray. I don't make up any kind of thing as long as I ain't mean Bitch. and rude and bitchy. <laughs> Boy, you don't hurt bitchy, though. So. Hey, now. Alright. I got my son right there. Alright. And we're out. Peace.